Alright, so in this video I will show you how to make the socket wrench assembly. So go to File, open a new assembly. Let's uh, put in the casing as our base part. And make sure it's fixed here. Uh, insert the gear. And click on Mate. And click on this circle. And make it concentric to this circle. Okay. And now let's make this face coincide to this face. And click OK. Right. So the next part, let's uh, let's put in the part that catches on the gear. Um, I named it gear catching part. So put that in. Uh, click on mate. Click on this circle and make it concentric to the circle. And click OK. Right. And then click on this face, make it coincide in to this face. And click OK. Alright, so uh, in order for these to stay in place, we need a, a cover. So go to Insert Components, click on the back cover, and put that in. Click on mate. Uh, click on this circle and make it concentric to this circle. Click OK. Oh. Uh. And then go click on this circle, make it concentric to this circle. Click OK. And then click on this face, make it um, coincide to this face, and click OK. Alright, so let's put in our switch. So go to Insert Components, uh, click on Switch, uh, turn it around. So uh, click on Mate, uh, make this concentric to this. And click OK. And next we want to uh, make sure the switch will turn the gear will turn the part that catches onto the gear. So uh, click on this face and make that coincide into this. Uh, make sure it says coincident, not uh, coincident, right? And then click OK, and then make this face uh, coincide into this face, and click OK. So now let's uh, let's put in some bolts for the these holes. So insert the bolt. We actually need two of these, so insert another one. So click on uh, mate, uh, mate this face with this face, and switch the direction, and click OK. And now let's mate this face and make it coincide in with this face and click OK. Now let's mate this with this. Switch the direction again. Click OK. And make this face coincide to this face and click OK. Same thing as earlier. Okay, let's put in the retention pin. So go to Insert components and put in the retention pin. Click on mate, make this coin concentric with this. Click
click OK. So this one is actually going to slide back and forth, so don't don't do a, co a coincide and mate with anything. So uh, if you look at this groove right here, we want this groove to lie on the same plane as this uh, this circle right here. So let's actually uh, go to the drop down menu, go to the retention pin, uh, click on the right plane, and then go to the gear. Uh, click on the front plane and make those two parallel. So and then click OK. All right. uh, now let's put in the direction switch, direction pin. So uh, click on direction pin and click on mate. Make this face concentric to this face, but uh, switch to direction. OK. And then click on this face, making it uh, coincident to this face. And click OK. All right, lastly, we need to put in our uh, retention ball. So insert the component, uh, put in the retention ball. Click on the retention ball. Well, first click on mate, and then click on the retention ball and make it uh, concentric to this face. Uh, we want concentric. So. Ball here. All right. Make it concentric. All right. Next, uh, this part's a little tricky, but click on the retention ball, and then click on this face right here, and make it tangent. Press OK. So you'll notice when you, uh, this works just like a socket wrench, when you push in the retention pin, uh, the ball will go in, when you take it out, it will go back out. And there you have it, there's your socket wrench.